Hey YouTube, a while ago I had made a video on how to download a route and follow it on your Garmin bicycle computer. And I got a question on that, which was, will this work on Strava? The guy said he wanted to use Strava because you can use Strava heat maps, which I didn't realize you could do. I am going to go to Strava, go to my routes, create a new route, click on this little gear thing, turn on the global heat map, and it shows you all the popular places to ride, like the trails in the Pittsfield State Forest or October Mountain, and then the streets that people like to ride. Those could be very helpful if you were planning out your route. I had made another video called Free Routable Topo and Auto Maps for your Bike Edge computer, and I got the maps from this gmaptool.eu, and I have both the auto and topo routable maps on my Garmin Edge 810 bike computer. So I'm going to start the route on a popular street and I like to come up to here on Brombach and this is all I'm going to do is just that little bit and see how it routes me. So I'm going to save this as Strava Road Test Save. My route's been saved. View route and then I guess export. I'm going to download the GPX file. So there's Strava Road Test and what I noticed when I was creating these routes is if I go to the heat map, I have all these trails. So if I zoom in to the point where I can see some of these trails, what I wondered was if I created a route from here along this trail, maybe down this trail, and maybe along here. See, it doesn't think there's a trail there because whoever up uploaded this to OpenStreetMaps didn't finish things. But let me undo that last point. It appears I'm zoomed in as far as I can. There is a trail right here that I want to take. So I'm going to put a dot there. I'm going to turn on manual mode and draw some points back to the start and see what happens. That could be really useful if, if you got this heat map that you're trying to follow, but the point, you know, there's not um, trails to find an open street map. I'm going to save this over here. Save it as Strava Mountain Bike Test. View my route, download it, and I have Strava MTV test. So those will be my tests, I guess. Will be Strava Road and Strava in the Woods. I'm going to take all three of these files and copy them to my Garmin folder on my Garmin device and new files. And paste those other ones in. Okay, hopefully we will be able to see the screen. First I'm going to go to my activity profiles and I think I'm going to choose gravel bike because the routing locks you on the road. This bike is my felt cyclocross, not car. I want gravel bike. What I want to do is hit find courses and unfortunately I had a bunch of them in here. Okay, so here's Strava Road Test. Loading course ride. Yes. Okay. Course found. So now it's displaying. Approaching brown back and it's not telling yep, just told me to turn. So that worked, and one thing I forgot to do was check to see which map I was using. So I'm using Northeast Topo. Now what I'm going to do is do the same test, but I'm going to disable Northeast Topo and enable US Automobile East. Let's go back. So I'm going to go to 
the same ride. Start of our road bike test. Say ride. Now we get to meet in course, yes. And have to turn around. It looks like it's showing. Me going up Stevens. Go up Brown back. Check it out. And it looks perfect. So that's good. I'll go to the woods and see what it does there. Okay, here we are in the woods at the trailhead and click on ride. Still using my gravel grinder bike even though I'm in the woods. They want to do find courses, Strava mountain bike test, say ride, and navigate to the beginning of the course. You're near the beginning of the course. Would you like to start? Yes. I am on the wrong map. I need to switch. Let me stop that. I need to discard my ride. I'm disable the street one. And I want to enable Northeast Topo. So now that trail should be on here. Before, when I was on the street one, that trail, it didn't know anything about the trail. So now I'm going to say ride, find courses, start a mountain bike test, and ride. Yes, and look at that, because those trails are on open street map, they show up and it looks like it's going to be able to follow them. That is pretty cool. There we go. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Look at that. It's telling me to take a left off Deer Hill even though it's pointing to the right. It's kind of strange, but it's giving me turn by turn directions on a trail, which is freaking amazing. So here's where we are taking a right. Go back up to the parking lot. Isn't that awesome? So cool. Well, I'm really glad whatever that username is, ask me about this because I think Strava is considerably better than Map My Ride. I don't know if you need a premium membership to download routes that you create or not, or even to create routes, but I find Strava well worth whatever the annual fee is because I love it. I just love it. You get your heart rate information and power and other things it's just cool and to be able to download other people's rides and then load them into your computer and then follow them it's pretty sweet hmm this is odd hmm I am coming out to this trail and I had programmed it in to go to the 
left here, but the computer only needs to go to the right. Uh, it's very strange. I'm going to go to the left like I planned and see what happens. Have to go back. And my route, my route is correct. I should be coming along there. But it was just telling me to go to the right. Which is extremely weird. I'm right there. That's odd. So... Let's go... Just ride along this ro trail right there. And see what happens, but... Now it says left off Deer Hill, so, which is true. Well, you do want to take a left off Deer Hill. I don't know. It just uh, was misleading right there. So I'm nearing the finish. I don't know if it'll tell me. Course complete. There you go. So, the direction seemed a little bit off. One thing you can do in this, I'm going to hit stop. Discard ride. One thing you might want to do is turn off turn-by-turn turn directions and off-course notifications. And to do that, you get to your find page and then do turn guidance off and off-course warnings off. Actually, that's probably not a great idea because that's going to affect even your when you're riding on the roads. So probably a better idea is to go to the specific course that you want to follow and change the color of it. Change it to always show up on the map and change the color to white. So always display, change that to on, and change the color to white. Contrasts with everything. So that might be the best way to follow a course is just change the course so it shows up in white and then ride it without having the thing give you all the warnings and turns and all that stuff. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Thank you very much for suggesting Strava as something we could use. Very cool.